Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Lesson 628. The title of today's lesson is The Difference Between Carnage and Massacre. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. If someone talks about the carnage, it refers to the violent killing of a lot of people. Now, you could also use that for massacre, too. Uh, even though it could refer to a war situation, it does not have to be one side against another, where massacre usually is. Carnage could be used with accidents, natural disasters, etc. If someone refers to a massacre, it refers to the intentional, intentional, you know, on purpose, killing of a lot of people, especially in a cruel way. And if one side overwhelms and slaughters another side that has little or no defense. I mean, there is no normal war. If they fight and they both lose like a, a similar amount of soldiers, we might not, we probably won't call that a massacre. Thus, it feels like it goes against the norms of civilized people, like you're just massively killing a lot of people that really can't defend against, you know, the, the ones that are attacking them. Uh, and, of course, massacre has a second meaning, an overwhelming defeat, especially in sports. All right, let's continue. Carnage comes from Latin in carnum, meaning flesh. Or so with carnage, the focus is on the body, the focus is on the meat, it's, it's on the flesh, it's on the blood. Um, thus, when one hears the word carnage, one gets the image in one's mind of dead bodies or a bloodbath. So it has that kind of connotation to it, because carnage is related to carne, it's related to meat, it's related to flesh. You know, like a carnivore is, is, is a meat eater too, you know, they eat meat. So, so it's, it's the image of the blood and the dead bodies. That's what we imagine when we hear carnage. All right, let's continue. Uh, all right, massacre derives from uh, macacre, uh, meaning slaughterhouse or butchery in French. All right, so in this case, it's it's really like killing a lot. Now, originally it was animals, you know, just people killing off the animals, you know, for, for meat. But still, they were defenseless. So that's kind of where the idea of a massacre comes from. They really can't fight back. So that's what the focus is on when we talk about a massacre. Okay, and we got five examples to try to give you a better feel of how we would use it. Uh, number one, they found hundreds of bloody and dismembered bodies from that terrible plane accident. The sight of the carnage was very unpleasant. Yeah, maybe there was a lot of dead bodies and maybe some of them were dismembered, you know, and there's all kinds of blood all over the place. So you still might say carnage, even though nobody was fighting, you know, we, we, we didn't blame the accident itself. We, we're not saying it was intentional. Might have been a real accident. All right, number two, after the battle, one could see the aftermath of the carnage on the battlefield. Okay, now here, it is a war situation, but the, the sentence is focusing on the dead bodies, you know, the bloody dead bodies, after the battle is even over. And it doesn't mean one side greatly overwhelmed the other side. It might have been close to even on how many soldiers died on each side. We don't really know, but they're focusing on what it looks like, the, the dead bodies that are lying there and the blood and uh, all that, then we use the word carnage. Okay, number three. The military in that small African uh, country was ordered to wipe out that village. The massacre left almost all the inhabitants dead. All right, here clearly it is a situation where one side just overwhelms the other and was kind of killing them, you know, in, in a way that we say might go against norms of civilized people you know even when there's war we don't like to just massively kill people that can't defend themselves all right let's continue uh all right the boston massacre very famous in american history the boston massacre started as a street ball brawl between american colonists and a british soldier but quickly escalated when the british soldiers fired on the defenseless crowds so they just started firing on people they didn't have guns to fight back they were just crowds there so they ended up shooting and killing several people uh, and maybe injuring some others. So in the newspapers, they called it a massacre because, you know, before it was just fighting hand to hand, but now you're shooting bullets at them and they didn't have the bullets to shoot back. And so one side could easily, you know, overwhelm the other side. So in this sense, this is a massacre. All right. And the last one, of course, is to do with competition. Uh, the game was a massacre. The Yankees won by a score of 13 to zero. So that's the way one side greatly overwhelms the other side in, in score in a score or points. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.